mga kababayan, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Laruan ni Obi Wan. So for this afternoon's review, we have the Spartan Athlon figure from the Halo 5 Guardians uh, game. So if you played the multiplayer game or the online game of Halo 5 Guardians, then you'd be familiar with this Athlon uh, figure. So we uh, McFarlane Toys um, produced actually different color waves of this action figure to represent the uh, multiplayer side of the Halo 5 game. So if you want any of those figures, then you could have one for yourself. So in different color combinations. And the one that really appealed to me personally because I also played the game would be this color combination because this is the color combination that I chose for um, my multiplayer armor. So the yellow and the black. So I was really glad when I saw this on PEG um, because finally I could also play uh, have the figure that I played in the online game so basically this figure when you purchase this um, and take it out of packaging it came with two accessories so you have a magnum or the sub pistol and you also have the battle rifle now the base color of the um, head unit or the helmet of this action figure actually is not silver so it came with a dark blue visor which somehow it dampened the total appeal of the figure anyway in the multiplayer game you have the option to change the color of your visor then i just painted that with silver and somehow it gave life to the head unit of this figure now if you're familiar with any of the halo 5 um, or the halo 4 um, action figure line produced by McFarlane Toys then the articulation points is no different it's just this is for the multiplayer side of the game so for the elbows we have ratchet joints a single point of articulation for the knees we have ratchet joints single point of articulation we have a ratchet um, joint 2 for the foot and we have rocker for the toes we have a also a ratchet joint for the hand area and of course we, the um, arms are free to articulate well because there are, we don't have any hindrances of um, any armor pieces on this figure so it's free to turn free to raise to the side and for the body of the figure we don't have any cut on the waistline for circular movement of the waistline all of the body manipulation or articulation would be on the diaphragm area now the head even if we have really thick shoulder armor actually it articulates well so we have um, head looking down sideways motion but the only thing that really suffers because of the design would be the head tilts looking up but actually if you want to improve the head tilts on this figure you could still do just apply the boil technique pop the head off and shave off some material on the neck joint and that way you're going to improve articulation on this figure so um, as for height of this figure if you have seen my previous reviews for um, action of halo halo action figure reviews then this is a 5.25 inch tall action figure and so far the only halo action figure that i have in my collection because i have um, quite a really a few figures of halo in my collection and so far this is the only one that has a foot uh, uh actually what i mean is a hole on the foot for a stand purpose so that is the thing that is also um, nice about this figure or is different for this figure so 
that's it for this review so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and see you on the next action figure review